In this video I want to look at the city of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Here we have a photograph taken from 1928, we're told. Uh, you can see tracks from the rail cars and you get that real sense, sort of a castle feel here with the uh, um, with the bulging brickwork both sides of the road and a bit of the uh, spire the conical dome in this case and then a bit of a spire on top so it's an interesting photograph it inspired me to have a look at the Wikipedia and the historical timeline given to us so I looked up Calgary history of Calgary and pulled up the old wiki Bedia give us a bit of sense of history, their history. Um, so it looks like the very first stages of the region they're attributing to David Thompson. At the time a 17 year old cartographer in 1787 working for the Hudson's Bay Company. A short blurb, a little RCMP action in there. Um, nasty old fort they build here. RCMP at 1875. They've already jumped a year now and they're saying this is constructed for the region to police the area. Photograph looks a bit suspect. Photographs from 1878 it says. Interesting. Because as we look at the history of Calgary we have What you always have in most towns in North America and in Europe, we have a fire. Calgary Fire of 1886 pretty much destroyed everything in the downtown, it says. And what did they end up doing? They ended up rebuilding with sandstone, They're calling the town the Sandstone City. Very interesting. I've listed a couple buildings here, so I've got a few pictures to show you. I think we'll just roll through some of that. So first is a postcard. Here we're looking at First Baptist Church. And we're looking at some very well established road work, curb work. Sidewalks with a handrail. Got some stone work here. Very interesting. Nice looking place. In behind the tree here you've also got a building that looks quite well established. And we jump to the bank. They're calling it the Bank of Montreal. Um, also seen it referred to as the Imperial Bank. Uh, Wikipedia I think gives it a mention. Let's have a look. Imperial Bank Building, 1887. Constructed. Okay, so all these things occurring in a flash after the big fire. This building here just thrown up, apparently, after a fire. Some seriously skilled tradesmen must have been available. Uh, I suspect it would be the same skilled tradesmen that had a hand in building what we're looking at back here as well. You've got the arched windows, you've got that textured brickwork. And here you've got that facade, really classic, classic looking facade with the columns, dental molding at the top here, uh, serious, some serious decorative work going on in here, interesting building. So whoever was were there at the time or was hired to do all this work must have had some serious skills, especially for the late 1800s. Another shot, a street shot of Calgary. We've got the rail cars in use. This looks like uh, late 20s ish, somewhere in there. Um, we've got that textured brickwork again. Look closely, you can see it all in here, all in this building. And then you have the uh, makeshift signs on the sides of all these buildings. Something doesn't sit right here with me. And you can also see 
all these buildings with these vertical spires with the ball on top. I'm sure they just forgot to uh, attach their flags the day this photo was taken. Interesting photo though, nonetheless. Found this one, again more evidence of that textured brickwork on the bottom. We have that dental molding on top. Also having windows down to the basement level implying that this building goes underground a ways, which would require a serious amount of digging to get that foundation. Also, what I always find interesting with these photos is the curb work. Got the sidewalk, well defined sidewalk, and looking like dirt streets or streets covered in dirt. Jumping ahead, this is uh, an old fire hall. Um, Obviously some paintwork's been done to it, looking like, but you have this tech here, which we'll see in some more photos. And we have the brickwork. I don't have a date on this building. Or this building. Very interesting, and even the building next to it, you can also see a bit of a textured brickwork going on here. Some sort of archway. So. Skilled craftsmen, to say the least, would have been putting these buildings up. And if we have such a short timeline, 1880, what, 6 to present day, but really in that time period, or up until about the 1910, um, and then you stop seeing these buildings being put up. They're saying along 12th Avenue, Calgary. Interesting uh, photograph, this one. Um, there's the streetcars again. You have that dirt, really dirty look on the streets there, but you have, again, the well-defined sidewalks. Um, so something wrong with this narrative doesn't sit right with me. You have the horse and buggy on the streets, the dirt streets, and then you have the rail cars at the same time, and you have some really, really nice sidewalks to walk down. So interesting, and then also what caught my eye a little bit was more of that textured brickwork here. Uh, so this house here, construction of this house or building, um, would have taken a seriously skilled hand or hands. Also possibly an excavation here of some sort. So maybe something was here previous to the photograph, I don't know. Interesting though. Here is the St. Mary's Church in Calgary. Almost having an uh, Eastern European Russian feel to it uh, with the domes. The two domes at the front entry. But definitely having some brickwork. A little harder to tell in this photo, but as you zoom in a little closer, you have again that textured brickwork. Some archways here. Uh, interesting. Interesting building. The old post office in Calgary. Uh, again, we have basement windows implying that this building had to have a decent excavation to get this thing onto some solid footing. Um, very textured block work, brickwork. And at the top you've got some interesting cylindrical, I don't know, decorative. Uh, they're not chimneys. There's some sort of decorative aspect to the roof portion of the building here. I find it interesting more on this side. So, nice looking building. And then also again we have the, the sidewalks, well defined sidewalks. Looking at the old city hall, this will come up a few times in here. Aerial shot. Um, Aerial shot gives a good good uh, view of the dome. But here are those mini domes, you can see them on the corners here. We've got some small ones around the outside of the clock tower. It's an interesting building. Um, I think also listed on that Wikipedia. 
Uh, there's City Hall. This is City Hall. You can't quite see it. Uh, 1911, they're saying it was built. So let's go back to this picture. Saying this was built in 1911. This building could have been somewhere in Europe. Built 400 years ago and you wouldn't know the difference. So I'm not sure I'm buying that timeline. It doesn't add up to me. Another close-up of what we got going on the City Hall. So everything made of some serious with some seriously heavy weight to it. So we're 1911. Um, according to their their narrative, this the wording here looks pretty uh, um, after the fact as well. It doesn't go with the rest of the building. But the detail work here, the skill level needed to do this type of brickwork, um, it just doesn't make sense to me. You would have had to have so many brick hands, brickies, laborers, so much skill involved, it just doesn't add up to me. For Calgary in the early 1900s, late 1800s and some of these, it, uh, especially when you couple that with the historical narrative of all sorts of cities around North America and all these buildings going up around the same time, it doesn't add up to me. So it's very interesting, something is wrong with the official explanation. And here we just have a, a school, central school. Um, threw this one up in 1904, 1905. Just checked it up. No problem. This is probably just a side project. Some of the brick bricklayers decided, oh, we'd just go put a school up n nearby where they were working. Maybe they were working on the, one of the churches at the time. <laughs> so they decided to get a little creative and put this... Uh, Cupola, that's what we call them now. This dome and cupola on the top here. It's a, it's a school, but they're going to make it nice. These guys had skills. And here you're seeing a bit of that tech along the ridges. You see this in other parts of the world as well. Eastern Canada, there's quite a bit of it. Looks like a bit of a fence that sits along the ridge of a building. Maybe part of a some sort of tech that was being used. Very textured brick there, though. Maybe it was just leftovers from one of the other builds, say. Eh? A school, right? Uh, Central Street Bridge in Calgary. There's another one of these uh, pictures of this bridge coming up. But it's uh, interesting, it's got the rail car tracks here as well. So, the Central Street Bridge. Decided to do a quick search on Wikipedia get a little sense of the history of the thing. Um, built by the city in 1916. Got that price tag on it. Replaced the old steel truss bridge in 1907 by a land developer. But my question... Hmm. Same place? I don't know. Interesting. Question is... If it was built at that time, why the streetcars? How long were the streetcars, the rail cars, in uh, use for? Uh, if this was built in 1916, why would they put these in there? I would suspect by 1916, um, we we're already making that transition. So, I'm not sure. This is pretty heavy duty business here. The railing, with the lions on top, buffalo's head here, looks like interesting stuff. And you'll see another picture of this as well as we move forward. Take another quick look here. They're saying there was a flood now. So we had a fire and now we've got a flood. 1915 flood. So interesting story behind this bridge. I don't think I'm buying most of it. Hard to believe a lot of these pictures they give us. City Hall again, saw this one from another angle, this is looking down from below, you can see that central cupola dome in the middle there, uh, looking like circa late 20s here. Um, so again that official narrative telling us uh, this was built in the early 1900s, 1911 I think it was, uh, looking at this building and it looks quite well established as far as I'm concerned. 
Looks like it's been up there a while. Another aerial now of a different section, maybe some of the areas we saw earlier. Um, you have that tech spirals. So that conical with a spire. You have the dental molding along here. These are definitely brickwork buildings. And the streetcars. Interesting photo. And here's the city hall, lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, if we see a date on the bottom looking like 1912, possibly. Uh, that's a lot of electricity. And interesting how the lights just flow right down. Right down the corners of the bricks. This is an interesting photo. Something not making sense. What about the official version? Not making sense at all. Very interesting photo. Here's that bank again. Street, looking down that street. Um, rail cars looking well established. Sidewalks looking very well established and old. Um, even the smaller buildings here, quite ornate. All done with brick and all sorts of decorative moldings. So interesting. Yeah, the street street lights, the lampposts, also very interesting. Um, if you were to date this photo, I would say we're looking. Ooh, I don't know, 1910s, 20s, maybe. What is this? Horse and buggy? No, it's not. No, we've got some cars, so maybe 30s. Probably 30s. Interesting though. Everything looking old and well established. Except for the signs, of course. There's the bridge from another angle. Nicely constructed bridge. Uh, it's the materials that interest me. The material choice. The choice of materials. Um... Yeah, very interesting. More to that bridge, I think. Well, they're calling this Alexander Corner. Another similar look, maybe the same that we saw in another photo. I'm not sure. But we have that textured brick. What else do we have up here? Is it saying 1891? I'm not sure. Alexander Corner. Not sure what that is. Is that a Masonic symbol? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Let's keep going. Alright, might have to dissect this a little bit. There's the school we saw in a previous. There's the old central school, apparently. Um, I don't have a date on this photo. I just find this interesting too. Very well established brickwork here. Very nice looking houses. I think we're on a roof, definitely. You have a have a spire with a, a ball on top right in front of the photograph here. And you got this sort of cut bank action in the background too, and the house on top there. But like that's interesting. And then of course you have this to call it the first Baptist church at the time. And across the street, you have the Central Methodist. And I have another picture of that as well. Interesting photo, I think. Here's a photo of the Knox Church. Looking very old again. Looking like it's been there a while. And a very well established curb work. Uh, building here, it's got the basements. Uh, there's that ridge along the back again, like the previous photo. It's interesting. Lots of churches, hey, in these old towns. A lot of effort was put in to building them, apparently. Or were they just there? Hudson's Bay Company store and Herald building. There's that textured brickwork again over here as well. Interesting shot of downtown Calgary. Historic Calgary they say. Let's have a closer look here. First Baptist Church. 
Uh, interesting here. Get the very interesting shape. You got the columns as well in here. Even the chimney reminds me of chimneys I've seen other places in the world with this uh, um, capital style um, top to the chimney. Very interesting. The horse and buggy days this would have been, so you can imagine. This must have been thrown up since the fire, 1886, so whenever this was taken uh, between then and now, I would assume this one was just thrown up along with so many of the other ones in that same time period. And look at look at the curb work again, look at how pristine that is. So for the era, an era of horse and buggy, to see this type of defined curb work and sidewalks is, it does not add up to me. Another still shot here, 9th Avenue, Calgary, similar scenes to what we've seen. Yeah, you got the streetcars. And you get a bit of a hazy look of the brickwork. And if horse and buggy, early automobile. So we're going back a ways, and this looks fairly well established once again. So, interesting. Old city. City Hall once again. Early days. Well established streets. Here's the Knox Presbyterian. An interesting look in here, reminding me of Old World. There's that gate tech along the ridge of the roof there. Gate style tech. Textured brick. Old Knox Presbyterian Church. Basement windows. Trees right up against the building. These trees have to be 20 years old minimum, depending on the species. So. When was it built? Do we have a date here? No. Interesting. Central Methodist Church. More of the same. Looking very castle like. I suppose that would be a gothic look. We've got all these arched windows, arched brickwork. So these guys must have been seriously skilled. They must have been able to do these arches in their sleep. They just put them everywhere. Didn't even matter. Land titles office. Got some columns, similar to what we saw on the bank. Um, some in the front. Some very textured brick or block work there. Same with the building next to it. So kind of out of place as well for this this area. Courthouse. Old courthouse. More of the same textured brickwork. Well-defined curb or sidewalk there. Uh, just a picture of the Calgary Zoo. And I was going to poke around in there a bit, but I couldn't find any good pictures. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at Old World Calgary. I think, just like in many other places, the historical timeline that we've been given does not match the evidence. Thank you for watching.